Hi, this is Nanda Kishore. In this demonstration, we will be exploring how to create a portal and we will try to understand some basic concepts of portal creation. And we are trying to create a new portal using WebCenter Portal 12C. To get started, access the portal URL slash WebCenter. And to know the version which WebCenter portal that we are using, here for this demonstration purpose, I am using 12.2.1.2.0 and you can figure it out from the about web center portal. Let me log in to web center portal and you can see it does the listing of all the existing portals and by default it has created a home portal uh, when we install the web center portal and it has an administration link to administer uh, the web center portal and you can create a new portal by clicking on create portal another way to create a new portal is by clicking on this portals uh, drop down list and choose create portal there is another option to create a new portal just go to administration portals tab and click on create portal all these things leads to the same place of creating a new portal so let's select the portal template create portal and this is the preview that it is showing how the portal looks like when it is rendered on a mobile device, tablet or desktop. As I am creating a demo portal, let me give demo and first I am going to create a blank portal. What does it mean by blank portal? Uh, when you just give the title and hit the create portal, it will create a blank portal without any pages. Let's see how it looks. Demo. Blank portal. Create portal feature. Demo. Basically, this description is used for uh, search engine optimization, SEO purpose, uh, in order to show the description of the portal in the search engine results page and here is the keywords that you can specify or associate your portal with i am saying it's a demo portal i know it's a blank portal so i will also add blank as one of the keyword and once the portal is created this is the url which is going to be used or that you need to use this URL to access the portal and these are the three different access levels public private and hidden by default it's a public access level that means anonymous users can see and access this particular portal and we will explore further on the differences between public private and hidden in the upcoming videos there are a few more features like uh, pages let's see in the next video so in this video what we are doing is we are creating a portal and we have just provided the title description and few keywords to associate with this portal now let's click on create portal to create the new portal basically we have created a demo blank portal so once the portal gets created it is leading you to uh, portal editor basically this is the place you can manage your portal whenever you create a blank portal it just creates a home page it will not have any other content in it or it will not have any other pages in it that's why I told it's a blank portal. 
but right now we are in the edit mode immediately after the portal creation in order to know how it looks for an end user click on this view portal this is how it looks for an end user who who has logged into the portal basically the signed in user of this portal will see the portal exactly like this a demo portal with one home page and entirely it's blank and we have some navigation links at the top to know who is the user currently logged in and an option to log out and to change some preferences and to do some user profile settings again we will explore all these things in the upcoming videos and if the user is an administrator you will see an option administration so one can open this administration pages to administer the web center portal to add the current page as favorite so one can add it to the favorite say example if i want to add this particular page to the favorite um, it will be stored in the favorites so one can quickly go back and access that url from the favorites list and again when you click on portals drop down list we'll see a list of portals you can see we just created a demo blank portal let's click on logout this will log you out from the existing portal so earlier we logged in as weblogic now you can see you have a login link that means it has logged out and you don't see that administrator link because it's an anonymous user uh, so anonymous user can access this demo blank portal because the portal access level that we have chosen was uh, public that's a default access level that's why we are able to access this portal and but since it's an anonymous user uh, we don't have an option for administration 